You know, being awful is one thing. Being weird is a completely different thing. And sometimes weird things are fantastic. Sometimes they're okay. Sometimes they're still bad, pretty bad. And one of the examples of something that was weird was Fusors. Man, were they weird during the Beast Wars era. But some of the offerings that we got for characters were pretty fun. Enter this guy. It is Airhammer. And he's going to be our focus this time around in the latest Got By True review. Hey one, hey all, welcome back to the channel. I'm your host, your most humble host, Dennis Moulton, a.k.a. Gotbot. As always, please like, comment, share, subscribe, and while you're at it, man, that's right, hit that notification bell, because it lets you know when content of all sorts goes up here on the channel. Check out Machinery of Man, the Everything Factor, Transformers, Collectors, NL, and the Autobot family, and have a look for me everywhere across social media. And this is Airhammer. Now, he didn't appear on the show, and as such, it's not a character that I particularly went looking for. This is on loan to me by a friend of the channel, Wayne, and it's a mix between a hammerhead shark and a hawk. Although I think in the actual review, I had to double check that. I think I called him something else, a falcon or something. Um, <laughs> nevertheless, he's a hawk and a hammerhead shark. And at first, I was like, I don't think this is very good, but you know what? The more I fiddled with this guy, the more charming he became. The more I kind of figured, you know what, the coloration is kind of spot on, the articulation is pretty much all there that you would want, and he's kind of fun. Anyway, I'll let you be the judge of that when we head over to the table and take a closer look at this guy. And only the beautiful oddity that was Fusors could give us the mix between a hammerhead shark and, I don't know, eagle I think it is, I think he's an eagle, I don't know, some sort of a big bird. Hawk. I'm sorry, I just double-checked. It's a hawk. Hawk and a hammerhead shark. Uh, what kind of messed up people came up with this? Um, Air Hammer is generally known, like, he wasn't on the show, so he's not part of my personal collection because I have a limited Beast Wars collection. This is on loan to me by friend of the channel, Wayne. Um, and it's, it's definitely odd, there's no doubt about it, but it has the beautiful molding that's very common with Beast Wars. And the character, from my understanding, based on like comic appearances and whatnot, is as comfortable flying in the sky as he is in the water. His robot mode, of course, allows him to be comfortable on land. Apparently he's pretty quiet and doesn't say or do a whole lot. But when he acts, it's very decisive and very quick and very sure of himself. Apparently, that's kind of the nutshell version that I understand of the character. Now, I will say this, when you look at this detailing, it's gorgeous. The paint is amazing, the molded in detail is amazing. I expect nothing less from Beast Wars. I don't know if this is necessarily what I'd call good, but it's, it's something. I suppose if we're going to talk features, I should point out that he does have a... I don't know if you can see that spring-loaded jaw there, if you press in on it. Um, <laughs> this, is, this is so weird. I, like, I love it, but it's so, so weird. So, oh, I guess in terms of like his animal mode, I, like, I guess it's good, and honestly, because of the way that the front is painted to look like a hammerhead shark and the tail is, but then the main body with the wings, it, it, you know, is painted in, I'll say bird colors. Um, although there's a lot of that like kind of white plastic that's very similar to the plastic used on Siege Ape Phase. Nevertheless, I like the way it plays off of the, the, like the colors are logical, as logical as you can get for the mix of a hawk and a shark, I guess. Um, so it's cool. We'll see more in robot mode. I, I, before I really give grades, I'm just going to do the conversion first and we'll kind of get that done and done. Hopefully things don't pop off. His arms do like to pop off a bit. So we're going to bring the legs out and sort of like pull them out from the side of it a bit because this is the main body and this is an arm and this is an arm. So we pull all that out, we bring out an arm and we reach up underneath and assuming we can pick it off, we should be able to pick it off because there's a 
Uh, peg hole there and a little peg up and under the shard head. So you should be able to pick that up, no problem. Once you have that out, you should be able to rotate the body and hinge it up. There's a, a hinge in here on the body. You should be able to hinge it up, open this out, and then rotate up the head and close it back up. This mechanism of rotating the head up is very similar to, say, uh, quick strike, for example. Then we take these hip sections and they're going to come kind of up and in using these hinges down here, up and in, and they peg into each other and we bring the legs back down on their ball joints. Make sure that's pegged in, make sure that's pegged in. Bring this down on its ball joint, bring that arm down. This arm does like to pop off. Um, I think it's just this copy of the mold though. Like I don't think it's a I don't think it's a problem as much as it's just this copy of the mold and I need to straighten that up. Turn the arm correct. And put it back on. And it's just fine once it's on. Elbow in. And in the end, like boom, here we have Airhammer in his robot mode. And you know what? I'm, I'll say this, the transformation is easy. But that's a hell of a backpack he got though. I mean, the coloration again, like it, I think it's fine here. It makes logical sense that we have the kind of oceany blues for his fish half. The head does remind me an awful lot of Quick Strikes. I don't know if it's a head reuse. If it's a new head, it's pretty close. Uh, I like the red on the shins. It sort of breaks things up a bit. Um, I wish his hands were more hands. Like, one hand is a fin. I, I guess he could slap you with it. Uh, you know, right? I suppose he could do that. The other one could bite you, so I don't know. It's no worse than the arms of Quick Strike, you know? I guess. This is a basics that's generally done pretty well. In terms of the coloration, I don't know. He wasn't really, he was only in comics. I'm gonna say it's 10, why not? In terms of the transformation, again, it's pretty great that one arm does like to pop off. I'm gonna say it's a, it's a, it's a nine. It's a nine, it's pretty good. It's, you know, enough pieces move that it's interesting, but it's not hard. And the articulation, well, we do have a head that goes left and right. Uh, the arms, they can go up and down. Oh, by the way, I think I may have. Yeah, I did. I'm sorry. I did forget a step. This whole back piece comes up and comes down, so it's not so high on his back. My mistake. The arms can go up. They can't go all the way around because of his wings, and his wings don't move. 90 degree elbow. There's a Because that's a ball joint, we do get a swivel there. Same on this side, uh, except the shoulder, remember, does like to pop off on this copy. We still get the opening mouth mechanism. The arms do go, you know, well out to the sides, which is cool. The legs, they can go well out to the side. They can go forward quite nicely. They can't really go back. Uh, we do get pretty deep L, um, knee. I, again, no real swivel, but you get a little bit up on the ball joint at the hip, and you do get a swivel at the knee which I guess serves the purpose. The ankles move forward and back, no side to side. Again, it's very typical for the time. It's all right for a basics, which is kind of like a legend size. I'm gonna say his articulation, it's about an eight. Overall, this guy's a, it's a solid nine. He's pretty great. Here he is next to characters from multiple eras, including Generations Rat Trap, uh, Classics Universe Dinobot, and the original Optimus Primal. He's, I mean, he's small, but he's, he's all right. Is it one that I would necessarily go out and hunt for? No, probably not. And here he is next to Optimus Minor. So you can see he's comparable to Air Hammer and size, so you know how he scales with everyone else. But more to the point, would I try and hunt down Air Hammer? No, not necessarily. But if you can find them for a good price and you come across them and you're thinking, hey, Look at that, there's a Maxwell I could probably add that I never had before. I think he's pretty solid overall. He functions well, as long as your tolerances are pretty good on the copy that you get, I think you'll be pretty happy with him. And here we are once again, and like, 
He's a nice lad. I like this guy with his little spring-loaded claw mouth and his little thin hand that he could slap you with. Uh, the articulation is generally all there. It's it's pretty good. I wish I'd remembered to collapse this piece right away, but I, nevertheless, it's actually a fairly small backpack. It's just too bad that the wings couldn't be condensed somehow. He stands fairly solid. He's pretty secure. He's a nice little basics offering. It's a bit of a shame that more of these guys didn't appear on the program. I get it. You're using CGI, so you could only kind of afford so many character models, you know, and they're time-consuming, they're expensive, it is what it is. But it would have been nice if some more of these guys could have got on there. Um, I like a I, I like, I even like the personality that apparently he has, where like he's quiet and subdued, but when he acts, boy, oh boy, is it impactful. Uh, he's comfortable in the air, he's comfortable in the water. He's also bipedal in robot mode, so I guess he's comfortable on land. I, there's very little not to like here. Yes, I did have one arm that tended to pop off the ball joint, but I think that's just a tolerance issue on this particular copy. I don't think it's like a widespread problem or anything. And even with that happening here, it's pretty easy to put it back on. And once it's on, it's not like it's loose. Like, it stays on just fine. He's he's a nice he's a nice fish bird lad. And I, I'm kind of glad I had the opportunity to look at him. Let me know what you think about this guy. You know that I love to hear from you guys. And I appreciate it when you give me some of your extremely valuable time. If you haven't done so, please hit that subscribe button. It helps me out so very much. If you're in a position to help the channel to grow, please use the donate link down in the description. Don't forget somehow, some way, each and every day, you very, very much do make a difference. I implore you right now, please make smart choices for yourself and for everybody around you. Now look for forward, man, to the next time that you and I get together, either in the live streams on Thursday nights at the stop motion premieres of the old fashioned way, man, right here inside the videos.